and an authentic hadith that summarizes for us the main goal and the objective and the purpose of Allah Azza wa Jal in His infinite, infinite, in His infinite hikmah, sending the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, comes in the hadith that is authentic in which He said, "Nama bu'ithu li utammim makanam al akhlaq." Verily, I have been sent with the sole purpose of perfecting the character of the people. So when the Prophet came, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to the Kufar of Quraysh as a Nabi and a Rasul, there were some good qualities that they had that Al Islam came and said, keep those and embellish them. And there were some characteristics that they had that were a problem. The Prophet ﷺ prevented them from those issues. So the main goal and the main objective that he was sent to Bani Adam is so that everybody can become better people in their behavior. And there's no single person here who is perfect. Everybody here has good qualities and everybody here has bad qualities. So part of the message of the Prophet Sallallahu is the good qualities that you have, increase them. The good qualities in Al-Islam that you don't have, then develop them and take them aboard. And the bad qualities that you have, get rid of them. He said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he was asked by one of the companions, what will cause a person to enter into the Jannah more than anything else? He told him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Taqullah wa husnul khuluq. It is having the fear of Allah and also having good character. So if a person wants to go to a Jannah, the thing that gets him into the Jannah more than anything else is the taqwa of Allah and good character. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned Yawmul Qiyam. مَا مِنْ شَيْءٍ فِي الْمِيزَانِ أَثْقَلُ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ مِنْ الْحُسْنِ الْخُلُقِ In the scales that Allah is going to weigh people and weigh their deeds and their actions, يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ All of what they've done. He said, يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ There's nothing that's going to be in the scales that is heavier and more weightier than a person having good character. So don't sit there and think that Good character is not something that we should consume ourselves and busy ourselves with. It's something that we should do that. Many people here, we put a lot of emphasis and focus upon praying a lot. And that's good, fasting a lot. And that's good, making hajj and umrah. And that's good, and giving sadaqah. And that's good. But the one who has good character can be more than the one who prays because good character will get you to that level. He mentions Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Yudrikul Mu'min Bi husni khuluqihi Darajat al-sa'im al-qa'im The Mu'min, the Muslim He will reach the level of a person who prays a lot And a person who fasts a lot If he has good character So there's an individual from amongst us He's practicing, she's practicing They pray and they never miss prayer And they fast and they give sadaq And they do all those other things But they lie a lot They steal they're people you can't trust. There are people from amongst us. Some of us are like that. Nasty people in the way we behave. And we're praying. And then, unfortunately, here's an individual over here. His knees have not touched the ground in years as it relates to Salat. But he's an honest person. He's not a liar and he's not a thief. Now, both of those equations are a problem. We should be praying. We should give sadaqah. We should be making efforts to do ibadat. But also at the same time, what is the benefit of doing all of that ibadat when people who don't do ibadat behave better than us? If you go to visit them, you don't hear about he said, she said, ghiba, ghiba. You don't hear about that. They're just decent people. So good akhlaq will cause a person to rise to the level of the one who prays a lot and the one who fasts a lot. That's how important it is. So he used to mention those hadith to encourage people. Develop your character. Take upon yourself developing good character. Being truthful, being honest, being patient, being an individual who is sensitive to other people, being a person who has sabr, all of those characteristics. And at the same time, he warned against the opposite. He warned against the opposite of bad character. So on one hand, he told people, have good character. And on the other hand, he warned about bad character in many, many examples. 
Two of the companions got into an altercation and a misunderstanding and they were of two different colors, two different colors. One was an Arab and one was a black person. And the Arab man became upset with his brother from the companions and he said something to him. When the prophet heard about the word that he used and the description that he used to describe another human being because of his color and his ethnicity, he told him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Inna fika, Inna kamri'un fika jahiliya. You are a person that has characteristics of jahiliya. That's the prophet telling the person, this bad quality trait, you have to let it go. Be a person who has good character. So many hadith. But also when he saw people doing things, he warned them about the bad character. Racism is a bad character trait. He addressed it. Don't be like that. Another example, he saw a man that was lying. So he had to touch upon that. He told the people and the liars of the community, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Inna al-kadib yahdi ila al-fujur. Wa inna al-fujur yahdi ila al-nar. وَلَا يَزَارُ الرَّجُوْ يَكْذِبُ فِي حَدِيثِهِ حَتَّى يُكْتَبَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ كَذَّابًا He said, lying leads to other sins. If you are a liar, you're going to do other stuff as well. You're just not going to stop at lying. The person who has the problem of kithib is going to lead to other problems. And he said, all of those problems lead to the hellfire. A man will not stop being a liar until Allah writes him down with himself and the malaika and the people that this person is a liar. So the shahid and the benefit and the point of all of that is good, good akhlaq, good character. Nobody here is perfect. Some people are better than others, no doubt about it. And everybody here has some good. Everybody, the worst person has some good. As they say, the broken clock is correct two times every time. Two times a day, every day. It's broke, it's on 12 o'clock, it's going to be 12 o'clock twice every single day. So no one is totally, exactly good, 100%. And also, no one is totally 100% evil. Even shaitan has some benefit, as the Prophet mentioned, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. لَوْلَا أَرَادَ اللَّهُ أَنْ يُعْسَى لَمَّا خَلَقَ إِبْلِيسِ If Allah wanted not to be disobeyed, He would have never created Iblis. He would have created him. Iblis has some benefit. Iblis will help to determine who's going to be in the Jannat al-Firdaus and who's going to be in the Hellfire. Iblis is going to help determine even the people of the Jannah. Who's on the top level and who's on the bottom level. Iblis is going to help to determine that. Depending upon how people made jihad against the Iblis, he's going to determine by Allah's permission where people are going to be. So even he has some benefit.